uh, the students from both classes this uh, uh, fact that I uh, will make only one film of 15 minutes uh, which I will send to both classes of uh, history of um, philosophy in America and to conversatorium class on post-secularism and globalization indicates that I have, uh, I hope, a pleasant surprise for both groups. Namely, I was invited um, some months ago to take part on the conference uh, in Lublin at Catholic University uh, in uh, Lublin and uh, uh, the organizers, uh, particularly the main organizer, Professor um, Sławomir Żurek, uh, just uh, informed all the participants that uh, the conference uh, will be online and it will be simultaneously translated uh, into English when uh, lectures um, will be delivered in Polish and vice versa. English um, lectures will be translated uh, into Polish. And since uh, I am one of the participants, uh, I decided to invite all of you and I will send you with my letter uh, of invitation, so to say, uh, also a link to this conference and um, also a program uh, printed, uh, so you will get it in, in form of uh, PDF. And everybody, of course, also of your friends, uh, whoever is interested in the topic, and I hope many people are interested in this topic, are warmly invited to, to take part on this conference without any limitations uh, uh, and uh, restrictions, etc., etc. Uh, how it is uh, connected with uh, my both respective courses. For history, uh, in America, history of philosophy, I think it is uh, quite obvious. You already realize that um, religion uh, played uh, since the beginning a quite important role in the development of uh, philosophical thought, uh, particularly in America. And Christian philosophy is uh, without uh, any doubts a, a, a most important uh, part uh, of this uh, philosophical heritage. But uh, in the 20th century, without any doubts, also uh, Jewish uh, philosophy, Jewish thought, uh, start to play a more and more significant role in the, the philosophy of uh, American society. And even uh, our last meeting dedicated to Baruch Spinoza's uh, treatise uh, theological political treatise um, draw your attention to the fact that till to now he is uh, very popular and important as, as a Jewish thinker also for Americans. Uh, for post-secular thought, uh, I think it's uh, also without any doubts uh, uh, problem, uh, topic of uh, religion, Christianity and Jewish religion is, is important and we will have a rare occasion to hear uh, the first rank scholars uh, who are active in the field. So instead of uh, only reading or listening to what I have to say or my bibliographical suggestions, you can uh, make your own uh, uh, ideas about uh, how relevant it is. And what is also for both groups, I, I think, uh, important, that we will hear not only uh, Christians speaking about Christianity or Jews speaking about Judaism, but exactly this moment of mutual exchange uh, of ideas, uh, Christians, who will speak about how important it is to include um, Judaism and Jews into uh, 
uh, Christian frame of thinking about uh, their own identity. And also uh, we will have uh, a rabbi or rabbis uh, who will uh, speak uh, about how important for them is to include in their Jewish identity also Christians. So I will briefly comment perhaps some of the uh, uh, of lectures and uh, you will find, as I said, program uh, in, in your uh, lists, in your emails, uh, and I hope that it uh, will be for you interesting to, to, to take part on this conference. So first of all, it is exactly on Thursday when uh, our class is taking place. It will uh, start at 10. So for uh, philosophers, so to say, is exactly in our time. Uh, so you can uh, listen uh, 15 minutes of my introductory remarks. And after starting for 10, you can switch uh, into the program of the conference, which is entitled Christian Jewish Dialogue, Christian Jewish Dialogue and International Conference. And at 10, uh, you will hear a, a conference or lecture by Etienne Emmanuel Veteux, uh, who is a, a chair and director of an important center of research at the, at the Gregorian University, a, a Catholic university run by Jesuits, in which I uh, have a pleasure to study in the 80s. So for me, it will be kind to returning of my uh, first uh, initiation in Jewish-Christian dialogue, so it will be for me interesting to hear it, but I hope also for you. And the, the title is Why is Christian-Jewish Dialogue the Foundation of Christian Identity? So, uh, and he, uh, he is a Catholic uh, scholar and priest, but uh, will speak how today, in 2020, how uh, in Catholic institutions, uh, the mutual understanding, dialogue, knowing one another is uh, very important also for those who are studying in Rome, uh, Catholic or Christian theology. Uh, the next uh, session from 11 to 12, so it's, we will already switch from class of history of philosophy to class of uh, post-secularism. Uh, almost uh, in any way, uh, we will have two voices, two lectures. One is by quite popular, also in Poland, uh, Rabbi Walter uh, or Walter Homolka, he is coming. Uh, probably he will speak from in Germ in in Berlin, where he stays. He is Reform Rabbi, and what is interesting also, he is open gay, and uh, when he got a prize for contribution, his contribution to Christian uh, Jewish uh, mutual understanding in in Krakow, I have a pleasure to meet him. And he was with, with his partner. So it's also interesting to see that uh, there are some uh, rabbis uh, who are openly gay and who are including the gay identity in the being rabbi and being a Jew. So uh, Rabbi Homolka will speak, who are Christian uh, for Jews? So, from Jewish perspective, how uh, modern Jews, uh, contemporary Jews, are perceiving a, a Christian. So, I think it's a unique occasion to, to hear uh, first-hand experience of someone who is living in, in Berlin with all uh, burden of past, of, of history, of Nazi Germany, etc. So, I think it will be uh, interesting to hear him. And uh, from Christian side, they will speak Professor Jan Grossfeld from the Catholic University here in, in Warsaw. And he will speak on who are Jews for Christian. 
and Jan Grossfeld, uh, whom I also know, and I know his publications, uh, he's uh, converted from Judaism to Christianity, or even more precisely, perhaps from atheism to Christianity. And so it will be interesting how he, as a former Jew, former, Je former atheist, um, perceive uh, with his uh, new identity, uh, Christians, uh, uh, Christian identity, how he perceived Judaism and how important it is um, for him to have uh, Jewish roots, but at the same time uh, recognizing uh, Jesus as a, as a Messiah, as a Savior, etc., etc. So I think it's also quite uh, quite interesting will be. And the uh, uh, last session in the uh, uh, first part uh, will be dedicated to um, Jewish Christian dialogue, uh, how it is presented in the teaching of the last uh, uh, three popes. Uh, John Paul II, uh, Benedict XVI, and Francis. Uh, the first speaker, uh, now we are already at 12, uh, will be Alfred Wierzbicki. Perhaps you heard about him. He is a Catholic priest, but very liberal, open, uh, and he took um, uh, care of uh, Margot. You remember this uh, story when uh, Margot was uh, arrested and uh, some uh, people um, of authority, uh, between them Rabbi Shudrich, some uh, lay people, uh, Halina Bortnowska, and between them also a priest from Lublin, from Catholic University, Alfred Wierzbicki, um, uh, wrote a, a letter of support uh, and uh, thanks to this uh, encouragement and involvement of many people, Margot was uh, liberated from prison before uh, time. And, and uh, I think it will be interesting to hear exactly him, who was attacked by his own uh, colleagues at the university, but on the other hand, many people supported him. So he's a public figure, you know, you will see him and he will speak uh, on a Christian Jewish uh, dialogue in the teaching of John Paul II. And I think it is out of discussion that uh, uh, Karol Wojtyła is a bishop of Kraków and after as a, as a pope, um, although now we know many discussions about his role in uh, hiding or support covering uh, pedophilia cases uh, in the church, but it is a, a separate chapter. Uh, we will not uh, include it uh, in, in the discussion now, but as a, as a Pope, uh, definitely he was uh, very supportive for Jewish Christian dialogue. He was the first who entered into the synagogue. He was the first who pray and put a kvitele, a, a sheet of paper, into the wall, uh, west wall in, in Jerusalem. Uh, so his contribution is uh, without doubt enormous. Uh, the second, uh, uh, also a Catholic priest, uh, Valdemar Szczerbiński, uh, will speak about the Jewish Christian, Christian Jewish dialogue in the teaching of, John, of uh, Pope Benedict XVI. And it's also clear that uh, Ratzinger is a, is a eminent uh, theologian uh, contributed to, to this dialogue also. And the third person who will speak will be me, myself, and my topic will be um, Jewish-Christian dialogue in the teaching of Pope Francis. And uh, I hope that you will uh, have uh, 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 patient enough to, to, to listen to three, three voices. Uh, my own included, and I will focus on uh, friendship of Pope Francis uh, with the Rabbi Abraham Skurka uh, in uh, Buenos Aires, uh, in Argentina, but also in the present day. 
And uh, to conclude, uh, it will be also a panel a discussion at the end, uh, in, the, in the afternoon, at three, uh, uh, there will be different voices, but you will see all this in, in, in the program included. So welcome to the conference and uh, at our regular topics, uh, we will uh, uh, continue in our classes in two weeks. For philosophers, it will be philosophy and media. For post-secularists, uh, it will be a topic uh, on uh, perhaps secularization is wrong. We will see. So see you then and enjoy the conference. <laughs>